What's up guys? Today we are going to go down to the creek and we are going to catch us some pickerel. Hopefully some big old chain pickerel, but any pickerel will do. We are going to be using only hard swim baits today, baby. So I know I'm going to take my Savage Gear 3D Shine Glide, golden shiner color. I know I'm going to take my river to sea s waiver uh, i forgot what color this was but i think that's the 168 size or something like that 128 maybe um i know you guys have heard of the gantrel junior and the gantrel this baby right here is the gigantrel look compared to my hand I mean, it's legit like the size of a uh, a bluegill there. Very beautiful. It's actually three piece there. Big old treble hooks with the feathers on them. And actually in the water, those look really awesome. The only thing is, this is one of the uh, floating ones. So, I mean, as you retrieve, it dives down a little bit, but it pretty much wants to stay right up at the top of the water. And it's also very heavy, and I don't even really have uh, an adequate rod to throw this thing, but I'm going to throw it on a medium heavy. I've done it before. It'll be okay. So, um, let's see what else I got here. Uh, this is the Mega Bass Mag Draft 6. I'm not going to throw that, but... I don't think I'll throw any more of these. Well, I might throw this small, this is a Spro here. That one will probably be good. And I believe this was just like a Bass Pro Shop brand or something that kind of looks like a perch. I don't think I'll throw that one because we don't even have perch in this creek that I'm going to. Um, and all the rest of these are soft, so the toothy critters will just destroy them. So this will be my four that I will be taking with me today. Let's go catch some fish. This is actually the very bait that I caught my PB uh, chain picker on. It was right at four pounds. And it was caught right here. So. So what I normally do with these kind of swim baits is I let it sink for a couple seconds, which I do know is shallower on that side, so I can't let it sink too long. And then I just kind of line, 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 line. Little half lines on the bait caster here. Line, 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 line. And that's why they call them glide baits a lot of times because I mean it's just real slowly kind of gliding instead of doing just a steady retrieve where it's just gonna do that you know sometimes I will do like a little slow steady retrieve and it will just But it's good to give those pauses in there. It just suspends like a real slow sinker. See? Wow, 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 wow. Let's sink for 
for a few. I'm doing a real slow retrieve. guys I have switched over to this S waiver and I have moved down to down the creek Yes. Oh, that's a big one. Oh, it's a bass. No, that's a pickerel. It's a pickerel. Oh, he choked it. He choked it. Oh my God, look how fat he is. Yes. Choked it. Oh my God. I don't even know if I'm gonna get it out of there, dude. Oh, he's bleeding. Look, it is all the way down there. Damn, he came up behind it and choked that. Oh boy. I wonder if I can reach up through his gills. Very carefully. Oh, almost had it, almost had it. Yes! Still don't know if he's gonna make it, but at least I got it out of there. God, man. Oh my gosh. Three pounds, eight ounces. All right. Maybe he'll survive. Luckily I was able to carefully reach up through the gills and release that bottom treble. I actually just learned that trick just the other day. Somebody uh, shared a post on my wall that was an article from uh, Wired to Fish and you know, I never thought about that. It definitely will be a lot easier with just a single hook. But you know, sometimes you accidentally gut hook a fish. And uh, that's the way to do it there. Oh. Got him. Oh, he got off. Oh, I bet he won't bite it again. Yeah, I think I came to this same spot the other day. Yep, sure did. Well, I guess that means I'm done for the day. Oh my God. Look at that. Both feet. I am completely wrapped up in briars. That is some cold water. All right guys, so after what happened yesterday, uh, I was planning on really wrapping up the video at the end of that, but uh, 
today is just straight overcast. Um, there's supposed to actually be some snow and uh, freezing rain type stuff not far from here. We might even see a little bit. Uh, but man, it is like straight overcast. It's cold. Uh, it's definitely a beautiful day for, for pickerel fishing. So uh, I figured, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna get back out and do a little bit more before I wrap this video up. So stay tuned. <laughs> the attack. Woo! Yeah, buddy. Not even gonna wait. So a minute ago, I had another pickerel swipe at my swim bait there, and then uh, I had another. I saw something creeping up on it real slow from down below, and once, and all of a sudden it turned around, but it was a bass that was coming up on it just then. But uh, so I threw a few more times, no luck. I'm gonna throw this uh, beetle spin again. <laughs> 